Hey guys, I'm Charan from Just Ready Things. In this tutorial, let's make this rain effect procedurally in Blender. Normally, this technique is achieved by using particle systems. But now, let's do this by only using nodes. This is just a trick to fake the effect. This will help in reducing a ton of render time. So let's get started. Delete the default cube and add a plane. Press 7 on the numpad to go to the top view. In the shader editor, give the plane a material. Change the viewport to rendered view. Add a noise texture and reduce the scale to somewhere around 1.5. And select the noise texture and press Ctrl T. This will add a texture coordinate node and a mapping node. Now crank up the X scale and Y scale. This will stretch the noise texture. Add a color ramp to the noise texture and invert the color sliders. Drag the black slider of the color ramp to make it look like random streaks, which is going to be our base of rain. To make it more organic, add another mapping node and place it before the previous mapping node. You can change the rotation along Z direction to rotate our rain. Let's change it to 25. Now connect the output of the color ramp to the base color and alpha of the principal BSDF shader node. To add bit more realism, reduce the roughness and increase the transmission. Increase the emission just a bit to make it more visible in the render. If you change the render engine to cycles, you can see it works fine. But it doesn't work with AV. To make it work with AV, Go to Material Properties and change the Blend Mode from Opaque to Alpha Blend. Now you can see that the plane is transparent wherever there is black. Let's give it some bump to fake the depth of water droplets. Let's add another color ramp and a bump node. Connect the color output of the color ramp to the height socket of the bump. Now change the interpolation to B-Spline. This will fake the roundness. Other interpolations are sharp which looks unnatural for droplets. Change the sliders till you are satisfied. You can animate the y-axis in the mapping node, but let me teach you another trick to animate it. Add a combine XYZ node and plug it into the location of the second mapping node. And now add a value node and plug it to the y socket of the combine XYZ node. In the value node, type hashtag frame. So now when we play the animation, we can see that the value is nothing but the frame number. It's going pretty fast right now. Let's decrease the speed by dividing the value input by a larger number. Play with the values and we are done. You can render this transparently by going to render properties and clicking the transparent option in the film section. You can use this in any of your render scenes to fake the rain effect. If you found this useful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.